You hear some kids say that word, can jaw. You have a momentary act in panic time. Hello friends. Today, I want to talk about a bit of Japanese culture. Kancho, fingers together and trying to our fellow teacher from Confident English and a friend on a Miss Boss Bunny, Masato on a Miss Boss Bunny has done this reaction video that we're talking about. I've seen others react to Kancho. And actually they're reacting to this guy, Filthy Frank, who I don't watch his videos, but he, 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 I want to give you the real perspective because I don't think he knows sh what he's talking about. The Japanese talking about it really is a different cultural, it's sexual assault. <laughs> For those who have not experienced it or are not Japanese or foreign teachers or foreign visitors in Japan, young children, They'll whisper, they'll do it, because it, to them it's a game. They'll kancho, and they will do a gun, and they'll try and stick it up your asshole. Yes, that is a game in Japan. Children sticking their fingers up your asshole. <laughs> and it's an accepted game. I want, I mean, I, I have to say it's an accepted, it is a tolerated, it is a, it's, it's a laughed about game among children, but a lot of adults. And that's what I mean. The video is on the internet. And I would love to give you the perspective of someone who was a teacher in Australia, went and taught in Japanese schools. And, whoa, yeah, it was shocking. And I was maybe more equipped because I taught in schools in Australia when I, you know, you're always looking out, making sure where students are, what's happening, you know, give them five minutes, they'll set the class on fire. But especially when you hear the whispering and then you hear it, can sure. And once you've heard that, once you know what that's happening, it's right, you've got to make sure because maybe you're doing it on the board or you're helping your student over here and to them it's a fun game. Oh, can we get the person before they react? It's no different to them. For the students, it's no different to what's the time, Mr. Wolf, sort of game. So it's a challenge. Can I, can I put my fingers in the teacher's asshole? And I must say, it's usually male, young male boys to male teachers. However, um, and again, foreigners more, but I've known Japanese females who have received it, uh, in their vagina. And that's the reality. And it's, it's, uh, you know, kids will be kids at idea and people are laughing on the internet, but this is fucking serious, man. <laughs> you hear it and you have a moment to react. And then you have to sort of let the students know, and especially before you're a foreign teacher without Japanese or cultural understanding, but to actually let them understand, for me, let alone, I think, in society, and especially this is an English class and we're learning about cultures and how do Japanese and English culture can fit together, that is not acceptable to penetrate another person in the classroom without consent. I won't go into that being laughed off by adults um, and almost encouraged and what that would lead to down the path with the sexual assault those boys commit and still think it's a joke. That's a talk. Any new school and I mean, I used to go to schools a lot to replace teachers or issues. Um, emergency and every time you know in a primary school you'd almost have that instance where you have to make sure they understand this is not acceptable in my classroom let alone in society 
The real culture is in Japan, students are allowed to, I'll use the word allowed to, sexually assault teachers and it's laughed about. Um, and if you are uh, kind of come to a, a English speaking culture, that's not allowed. So yeah, please um, share with me what are your experiences with Kancho or the other things in your culture that are similar where pretty much children are allowed to sexually assault teachers or adults and it's laughed off. Thanks very much and uh, I'll see you later.